Now we're looking at the animal cell in brief in, in, for, in, for, for in a short while. Now, before that, let's take a look at this small short uh, exercise uh, about the animal cells. How do we verify? You, you, you can verify the cells in your body by taking uh, a cutting board and a, a toothpick and gently you scratch it inside your joystick and use it in your jaw and, uh, and scratch it and bring it out and uh, transfer it to, uh, to a, a strip. Now we can transfer what we have here into into a microbes slide uh, uh, slide microscopic uh, slide. We put it in a micros microscopic slide, and then we can add the uh, iodine iodine solution to it. Either we add iodine, or we add we add the methylene uh, blue uh, to the the substance that we've obtained from our cheek. Then after that, we cover it up. We cover it up with. Uh, we, co we try to cover it up with a cover slip and then after that we take it and place it under a microscope we place it under a microscope and view it from a microscope and see how the cells in our body looks like especially from the one from your cheek so if you do that this is what you're going to get so you're going to see all of this and you'll be wondering oh my uh, this is great this 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 these are the cells in your body so all of these are the speci specialized cells in your cheek that we we'll take a look at using a microscope right now now let's move ahead uh, we want to look at the animal cells I've talked about this briefly and if you uh, take a look at what they contain individually this is the cell membrane we said the cell membrane is a partially permeable membrane barrier that regulates the substances that goes inside this cell or goes out of this cell now let's take a look at cytoplasm it's a jelly like substance or material and which contain the cells organelles and they are found and they, this is where the metabolic processes and reactions do take place in the cell. Now let's take a look at the nucleus. The nucleus of a cell in animal uh, is the locations of the cell's DNA. It contains the DNA, the DNA. So it's the nucleus that contains the DNA. And then what about the mitochondria? The mitochedra, look at the ch how it looks like, the mitochedra, and it's uh, the site of energy released by respiration. What of the ribo ribosome? The ribosome are the site for proteosynthesis. That's where proteins are being produced. They are too small to be seen with a light microscope. So you need a, a vascular one, a big one, a big microscope and to, 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 to see your ribosome cells. Now let's take a look at uh, how animal cells are adapted to uh, their functions in the body. For example, we take a look at the white uh, blood cells. What do they do in the body? The white blood cells are an important group of cells that helps to fight against uh, diseases. They help to build your immune sy systems and, and they can destroy pathogens. The pathogens are disease-causing organisms in the body. So the white blood cells can change the shape to a gov pathogen and squeeze them in between the body cells. Okay, now that, that's that for that. Let's take a look at the red blood cells. The red blood cells can transport oxygen molecules throughout the body and they also contain the red pigment called the hemoglobin, which binds together with the oxygen as it moves around the body. Now, uh, well, how do they look? They, they, this, they look like a, a concave disc. They have a concave disc shape that helps to increase the surface Surface, uh, to increase the surface area to volume ratio uh, which means that if the surface area to volume ratio is increased because of the shape the vascular nation the concave nation nation of this uh, 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 nature of this uh, disc uh, this uh, red blood cell it therefore means that more oxygen can be transported around the body now let's take a look at the nerve cells the nerve cells transmit electrical impulse throughout the body if during the, neuro, uh, neuro, the neurons, the nerve cells are the neurons. If you look at the, uh, the nervous system, here we're going to be talking much more on the neurons and the work they do. They contain a long thin axon. This is the long thin axon uh, surrounded by a layer of insulating myelin, a layer of insulating myelin, and uh, they, they increase the speed of electrical impulses. This uh, myelin, they help to increase the, the speed of the electrical impulses. And then the cells, uh, they have uh, nerve cells at the branch end, end of each of these connects. 
So this is in, it helps to carry your signal, electrical signal to the brain or the spinal cord to be interpreted and also be sent back to us so that we know what has happened to us. Experience someone has touched us or pinched us or say anything to us. Now what of the goblet cells? The goblet cells are found in the gastrointestinal and the respiratory tracts of the human body, of the, of, of the organisms and they secrete the mucus to lubricate and to protect uh, the cells or the body. Now, that's, that's, that's that for the goblet cells. Now, let's take a look at the sperm cells. The sperm cells are the main reproductive cells. They, they help to fertilize the egg cells. And they have a long, flexible tail enabling them to swim. This tail helps them to swim from the point of release to the point where they have to fertilize the egg cells. Okay, so now what of the muscle cells? The muscle cells are made, made up of skeletal and uh, smooth and cardiac muscle fiber. They contain fibers. They're long and they contain protein fibers that help them to contract and also receive an electrical impulse. Also help them to receive impulse. Now let's talk about uh, the goblet cells. The goblet cells are found in the gastrointestinal and the respiratory tracts and they secrete mucus to lubricate and to protect the cells. And the top portion of the goblet cells are packed with mucus granules and the nucleus and other uh, organelles are also near the narrow base of the cells. So this is how the goblet cells look. They lubricate, they, they secrete uh, mucus to lubricate and to protect the cells. Now let's take a look at another type of specialized cells, which is the sperm cells. The sperm cells are male reproductive cells. They fertilize the eggs. So in these uh, cells, we have the head, we have the tail. The tail helps it to move, helps the cells to move and uh, to swim towards the egg cells. They, when they meet the egg cells, they fertilize the egg cells. Right? Okay, so that's about the sperm cells. Now let's take a look at the muscle cells. The muscle cells are uh, made up of uh, skeletal and smooth cardiac muscle fibers and uh, they help they help to, they contain protein fibers that helps to contract when they receive electrical uh, impulse. And they also cause the muscles to shorten whenever they contract. Okay, so that's that for muscle cells. And let's go to the next aspect of uh, an activity to take a look at what this, let's match these symbols of the cell, various cells in the human body with the functions. Let's see the descriptions of any of these animal cells. Let's, for example, let's say this is, uh, we're going to match this with the function. What does it do? It, does it conduct electrical signal uh, to distant muscle? Does it able to change the shapes and engulf microbes? Is that what it does? Does it contain fibers and enabling the cell to contract? Uh, does it contain hemoglobin to transport oxygen? Does it have a tail to swim? Does it secrete mucus? Okay, okay. meaning it doesn't secrete mucus. And does it enable microbes? Does it do, do this function? Yes. So that's what it does. So it means uh, this is what it it's enable it's able to change the shapes and engulf the microbes. Meaning it's uh, a white blood cells. This is a white blood cell. So it engulf uh, the microbes. It secretes them and peg them for destruction. Now let's take a look at the red blood cells. What do they do? We say they contain hemoglobin and they also help to transport the hemoglobin sticks to the oxygen and transport it around the body. Yes, that's the function. Now let's take a look at. Uh, the nerve cells or the neurons, what do they do? They conduct electrical signal to distance muscles. Can we see that? Yeah, that's the, what they do. Now let's take a look at the goblet cells. What do they do? The goblet cells contain fibers enabling the cells to contract. No, that's muscle cells, right? Now, what about it has a thing for movement? The goblet cells secrete mucus, uh, uh, mucus. Yeah, so the goblet cells, they secrete uh, mucus to lubricate and to protect, protect the cell. Now, what about the sperm cells? The sperm cells, what do they do? They have a tail for movement. Okay, that's great. Now, what about the mu muscle cells? The muscle cells contain fibers uh, which enable the cells to contract. Good, that's great. So this is uh, the different cells in the body and the functions they carry out. These cells are called specialized cells. White blood cells have specific functions they carry out in the body. The red blood cells have, uh, the red blood cells have, which are this, uh, concave, this like uh, shape, have uh, specific functions. They contain the green pigment, uh, the red pigment, which has uh, 
uh, uh, hemoglobin and which sticks with the oxygen and move around the body and the neurons or the nerve cells which conduct electrical signal impulses carry messages to the brains on the spinal cord or bring messages back from the brain or the spinal cord well the, the goblet cells we say secretes and the uh, sperm cells um, helps to move the eggs uh, the sperm cells to the egg cells to fertilize them and then the muscle cells enable fiber uh, contains fibers which enable cells to contract okay That's